Hello everyone, this is Shuram from Albernicon and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use TI Portal to automatically identify hardware module and helping us to quickly set up our PLC station. So here I have my TI Portal open and I'm going to add a new PLC station. So click on add new device. In my case I have an ET200 SPA station with a couple of I.O. modules, digital, analog, standard and safety. So I will point to Cymatic ET200 CPU and then family of ET200 SP systems. And instead of picking a specific CPU, I'm going to select unspecified ET200 SP CPU. And as you can see here, there's no specific part number and it's just a placeholder. So just click on this one. And all I need to specify here is the firmware version of the controller. We learned how to identify the firmware version of a new CPU in the previous video. So in my case, I know that my firmware version is 2.5 and then click on OK. So this is going to add a placeholder CPU here and I can see in this note part that this device is not specified and I can see there is a hyperlink with detect. So clicking on that one, and this will activate the hardware detection tool of the A portal. The only action I need to take here is to specify how I'm connected to my CPU. So I specify my Ethernet connection and then click on the start search. Okay, so my CPU has been identified. It's a ET200 SP 1512 failsafe CPU. And next I click on detect. And that's it. So as you can see, CPU along with all the I.O. modules has been automatically identified and it's loaded into my TI Portal hardware configuration window. That has saved a lot of time for me to going through all the part numbers and make sure that I pick the right module. Using this feature, we also avoid to having any human error during the selection of our hardware modules. If I click on any module and then open the property window, in the catalog information, I can check the detail of the hardware module along with its part number and firmware version. So that saved me a lot of time. Okay, I hope you've learned something new. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.